Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. So today, uh, I would like to brief you about Hydrologic Modeling System, HEC HMS. A hydrologic model is a simplification of a real-world system, which is the hydrologic cycle that aids in understanding, predicting, and managing water resources. Both the flow and quality of water are commonly studied using hydrologic models. Okay, what is model? As you know, model is something that we give the input and the processing usually is computer and we get the output. Okay? Usually the input is known because we select the parameters and the processing is done by machines with equations and then the output is unknown. Same goes to hydrology model. So the main hydrologic model usually is precipitation. In Malaysian case, we have rainfall. So we have watershed properties where we know maybe soil properties. We have digital elevation map. Okay, we know the location of the rivers. Okay, and then when we have both of these, we want to produce runoff. So runoff is the output. Why modeling is required? Modeling has become an integral part of the decision-making process for water engineers and managers. Recent research in hydrologic modeling tries to have a more global approach to the understanding of the behavior of hydrologic systems to make better predictions and to face the major challenges in water resources management. Hydrological models also have taken over the most important task in problem solving in hydrology. So it is valuable for studying potential impacts of changes in land use or climate. Some of the use of modeling is forecasting and prediction. Instead of expensive and time-consuming measurements to solve the what if p questions, summarize and test knowledge, and education. Basically, there are four types of hydrologic model. The first one is analog model. Prior to the advent of computer models, hydrologic modeling used analog models to simulate flow and transport system. Unlike mathematical models that use equation to describe, predict, and manage hydrologic system, analog models use non-mathematical approaches to simulate hydrology. Two general categories of analog models are common. Scale analogs that use miniaturized version of the physical system and process analogs that use comparable physics, for example, electricity, heat, diffusions, to mimic the system of interest. Statistical models are a type of mathematical model that are commonly used in hydrology to describe data, as well as relationship between data. Using statistical methods, hydrologists develop empirical relationship between observed variables find trends in historical data, or forecast probable storm or drought events. The third one is conceptual models. Conceptual models represent hydrologic system using physical concept. The conceptual model is used as the starting point for defining the important model components. The relationship between models component are then specified using algebraic equations, ordinary or partial differential equations, or integral equations. The model is then solved using analytical or numerical procedures. Exact solution for algebraic differential and integral equations can often be found using specified boundary condition and simplifying assumption. Laplace and Fourier transform methods are widely used to find analytic solutions to differential and integral, integral equations. Many real-world mathematical models are too complex to meet the simplifying assumptions required for an analytical solution. In these cases, the modeler develops a numerical solution that approximates the exact solution. 
Solution techniques include the finite difference and finite element methods, among many others. Specialized software may also be used to solve sets of equations using a graphical user interface and complex code, such that the solutions are obtained relatively rapidly and the program may be operated by a layperson or an end user without a deep knowledge of the system. There are model software packages for hundreds of hydrologic purposes, such as surface water flow, nutrient transport, and fate, and ground flow water. Commonly used numerical models include SWOT, mud flow, fair flow, and MIC. Physical models use parameters to characterize the unique aspect of the system being studied. Usually constructed in lab, it is used usually to calibrate and validate conceptual models. In general, three distinct options are available to model the hydrological processes. The lab model considers indiv individual subbasins as a single unit, whereas the distributed model subdivides each subbasin in smaller cells. The lab model treats the complete basin as a single homogeneous element and develop a single outflow hydrograph. The quasi-distributed model discretizes the watershed into homogeneous sub-areas or sub-basin based on the topography or drainage area. The infiltration or rainfall parameters are treated as homogeneous within each sub-basin and the flow is determined. Whereas a distributed model explicitly accounts for spatial variability using spatial datasets describing soils, vegetation, and land use. A distributed model will subdivide a sub-basin area based on a particular grid size to capture spatial and temporal variability and then route flows through the sub-basins from cell to cell. Okay, Hack HMS is a product of Hydrologic Engineering Center under United States Army Corps of Engineers. The first version is Hack 1 in 1992, and the latest version is 4.4. Hack HMS is designed to simulate rainfall runoff modeling ranging from small urban watershed to large river basin. Hack HMS have three basic components. The first one is basin model. Basin model represent the physical description of the watershed in HACMS project. The second one is meteorologic model that contains meteorologic information to drive the hydrologic simulation. And the last one is control specification. Specification is to control the duration of simulation to run and the time step. The HEC HMS interface consists of a menu bar, toolbar, and four panes. These panes are referred to as the Watershed Explorer, the Component Editor, the Message Lock, and the Desktop, as shown in the screen. Okay, these are the hydrologic elements of HEC HMS. It has sub-basin, reach, Reservoir, junction, diversion, source, and sink. Both all have uh, different functions. So subbasin is used for rainfall runoff computation on a watershed, which used to convey stream flow downstream in the basin, usually represents river, small river streams. Reservoir used to model the detention of attenuation of a hydrograph caused by a reservoir or detention pond meaning that any reservoir or pond. Junction used to combine flow from the upstream reaches and sub-basins. Diversion used to model abstraction of flow from the main channel. Source used to introduce flow into the basin model. And sink used to represent the outlet of the physical watershed. Below are the methods available in the sub-basin element. Basically, there are five calculation type. The first one is canopy method. Canopy method is interception and evapotranspiration in watershed. The second one is surface method. It represents depression storage in watershed. 
The third one is loss method. It represents water loss due to infiltration from rainfall. The fourth one is transform method, where it converts rainfall to stream flow hydrograph. The last one is base flow method, to insert existing flow condition in the outlet stream. Basically, the one that we use is the one that we have the data. Basically, for example, uh, transform method. Some studies suggest to use Snyder unit hydrograph and some studies suggest to use SES unit hydrograph. Basically, in US, SES is popular. However, in Malaysia, sometimes we, we use Clark unit hydrograph or Snyder unit hydrograph. So it really depends on what parameter we have. Okay, but in this uh, uh, in this uh, exercise later on that you will do, we will use SAS curve number and SAS unit hydrograph to to get your results. Okay, all these two uh, parameters will be provided to you. Okay, so that's the end of my slide uh, for today. So after this, you will do the exercise number two. But before that, please watch the Hack HMS tutorial that I uh, upload uh, on the YouTube channel. And I hope that you can follow through step by step. And don't forget to submit your uh, exercise number two on 30th April 2020. Thank you.